Hello everyone, today, we're diving into the world of VLOOP Air Systems and discussing three crucial things you should never do to your VLOOP Air System. These tips are essential for keeping your hair system looking great and ensuring its longevity. So, let's jump right into it. First of all, and I cannot emphasize this more, never ever brush when the hair is wet. When hair is wet, it becomes more fragile and prone to breakage. Wet hair is more elastic and can stretch, making it easier to snap when brushed. Plus, the stitching holes on the PU base swells up after wash. Without knot support, the looped hair, which is finely ventilated into the base, will be easier to be pulled out. Brushing it in this state can cause unnecessary hair loss and put stress on the base material. Always wait until your hair system is completely dry before using a brush or comb to style it. Number 2. Avoid excessive heat. Heat styling tools like hair dryers, straighteners, or curling irons can be damaging. Excessive heat can weaken the base material and compromise the delicate V-loop structure, leading to hair breakage and irreversible damage. If you must use heat styling tools, always do so sparingly and at the lowest heat settings possible. Number 3. Steer clear of harsh chemicals. The third thing you should never do is expose your V-loop hair system to harsh chemicals. Many hair care products contain chemicals like sulfates and alcohol that can be damaging to the hair and the base. To protect your hair system, use only sulfate-free, gentle shampoos and conditioners designed specifically for hair systems. Avoid products containing alcohol, as it can dry out and weaken both the hair and the base material. And there you have it, the three things you should never do to your V-loop hair system, avoid excessive heat, never brush when wet, and steer clear of harsh chemicals. These guidelines will help maintain the appearance and durability of your V-loop hair system. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, and if you have any questions or tips to share, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more hair care tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.